Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Tuesday, October 17th, and it's currently 3.44 p.m., and I have Baby 7, who is still for sale, and I'm going to change him out of this outfit and just put him in a sleeper, and then I'll just probably wrap him up and then just leave him alone until he sells. And I'll be honest, I just picked the first. I don't like looking for clothes for the baby, so I just found, I know I wanted to put him in a sleeper. That way, all of his limbs were protected. Protected. However, I did not feel like looking for a sleeper, so I picked the first one I saw, which were pretty fast. So this is gonna be a little big on him. It's a zero to three month, but it looks more like a three to six month size. But I'm gonna put this little sleeper on him. It has a little fox on it, and I'm gonna change him out of this, put him in that, and I kind of have two topics for today. The first one is in, is kind of like advice and then the second one is a topic that you guys can answer along with me if you choose to which a lot of you don't so anyways uh, my advice that is unwanted <laughs> but i decided to give it anyways because everyone else gives their unwanted advice and opinion but at least mine is coming from a place of love anyways so I've always noticed for like literally the past what four or five years that a lot of these beginner artists just charge way too much and I know I briefly talked about it in my last video but I wanted to talk about it a little bit more. Please note that if you ever want to start painting that you are going to spend a lot of money on supplies that's just how it goes you have to spend money to make money so you're going to spend quite a bit on supplies and as much as you would like to get that money back it's unlikely especially when your artwork is new and just getting started out and you're making a name for yourself and unfortunately for many people in this community names are everything and they won't buy from you if you don't have a name sadly me on the other hand names are not important to me as long as i am buying from a reputable seller artist i am okay with whoever painted my baby well to a certain extent i won't buy from people that have disrespected others or said some things that were not nice and things like that i won't get into but except for that i won't buy your baby no matter how many times you fake cry but a lot of the times people in this community and hobby they do care about the names so it's not going to do anyone good if you're just starting out and charging six hundred dollars for a baby so here's my advice i say go ahead and paint as many babies as you can afford and when it is time to sell them just put in your kit cost and then look at the baby and say hey is this baby worth this ask others for their advice and ask them a think or what they would want to pay for a baby because i just saw a three-month joseph that barely looked painted i believe this was the first or second baby that this person has painted so on top of that the baby barely looked painted super pale and it had the most patchiest rooting ever and I'm not trying to talk about the baby. I'm just trying to give you guys an example of how the baby looked. He needs a bath ASAP. And why do I, why am I trying to put this on this way? Ay ay ay. But the baby had really patchy rooting and the rooting, it had so many hairs in the hole. It was very pluggy. And they were like, I want to sell this baby. How much do you guys think I could get for it? And people were telling them. And then they were like, do you guys think I'd be able to get $500 for it? And people were actually, I say actually because those people, there's a lot of rude people in the community. But those people were actually really helpful. And they gave great tips. They showed them work that they were able to sell for $500 just to show like, hey, this is what's selling for $500 and barely that since a lot of the time a lot of people aren't paying a lot of money for the babies but 
they were showing the person like this is what I just sold a month ago for $500 and the baby head was rooted really really good the baby had a lot of details and was painted fairly fairly good and worth $500 compared to the baby that was in the post it was kind of like a Walmart doll versus an actual reborn so they had ended up helping this person and they were like basically you will not be able to get $500 for this the most you will get is $125 and although that may seem really really low or they may seem incorrect they were 100% right and I think the only reason why they even said 125 is because of the kit because well unless they got the kit on sale but I was gonna say because the kit for Joseph is like I think 60 70 and then on sale you can get it for as low as like $25 but it's plus shipping and then the pain and things like that so they trying to they tried to add that in there as well and they were like well I'm sorry but the most you can get without like really low balling yourself is 125 but like if you really want that thing sold in my head I was thinking $50 if you really really want that baby sold so if you're if you're if you're okay with the baby sitting then yeah 125 would be good $500 that baby it's unfortunately not going to sell but if you really need a quick sell yeah I definitely say $50 for that baby I saw so my suggestion is to practice 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 you may lose out on money matter of fact you will lose out on money it's a guarantee especially now entering in the hobby and community and wanting to start painting you're going to lose so much money and your dolls are going to sit if you are only reborning for profit your dolls i'm telling you now your dolls are going to sit and i don't mean to be rude but i've seen it many times people enter because they're they're like oh this is easy money and then their dow their dow turns out okay but the dow just sits because they're wanting too much I say practice as much as you can. I really kind of have a problem with beginner artists wanting to do customs because uh -uh. maybe you can do kit paintings for people and let them know you have creative control. That way people can't say, hey, this is not what I wanted. And you're like, well, I'm a beginner artist. They're like, I don't care. <laughs> this is not what I wanted. So I say maybe kit paintings or if you do customs, then let them know you have creative control. I know customs are having people get their baby painted by you is a great way to practice. Um, it's, a gay, it's a great way to get a little bit of money. I do not say come out the bat charging $600 for a baby or $600 for a custom. I say you can do like a sale, like they buy the kit, you'll charge it, for, you'll paint it for fifty dollars, and they have to pay shipping there and back. So you get fifty dollars. You can use that fifty dollars and get another kit, and you can paint that and list it up for sale. Or you can continue to do like fifty dollar kit paintings, and then you could do four of those, and you already have two hundred dollars. So that's just my advice. Don't come, don't come into the hobby and community wanting to pursue painting if it's solely based off of the money because again it won't work it won't um, I also say start off low start off in the mindset that I'm going to lose money I know it's like huh but if you're coming in telling yourself I'm gonna make so much money you're gonna be disappointed because you aren't anyways that's just me rambling so what I was going to talk about so I was going to talk about <laughs> I was going to ask you guys what do you prefer do you prefer silicones or reborns I talked about this a little bit uh, a couple of times I talked about this and I wanted to talk about it again because I don't really get a lot of comments so when I talked about it like the first 15 times <laughs> I didn't know hardly get any comments, so I just wanted to ask again. Maybe you guys are in a better mood and feel like sharing if you prefer the reborn or the silicones. So I prefer 
the silicones actually and the crazy part or the funny part about it is I had a feeling that I was always going to like silicones because when I entered the community back in 2013 I was like oh my gosh a silicone baby that is so cool I can bathe them I can do this and that false false alert you cannot bathe them well you can but not every day like I was thinking but I was like silicones are the bomb but I entered and I was so young so I never had a silicone until I got a job and I got my first silicone 2019 it was the summer of 2019 it was a partial silicone and it wasn't bad at all and even though the silicone wasn't as soft as a baby I have now it was a silicone, so I was okay with that. I was happy. It was a nice, inexpensive, cheap little silicone, and it gave me a feel for silicone, and I absolutely loved it. And he's showing up super orange on the camera, but that's because the ring light is all the way over there. He's still kind of showing up a little orange. Let me see if I can move you guys right here. So, I do prefer the silicones. The only thing is... It does take a while for me to get the silicones versus the reborns because obviously the silicones cost more money than the reborns and I am not made out of money. So I have to work harder. I have to save up a lot more versus just getting vinyl, which is kind of why I have been trying to stop getting vinyl because 600 here and 800 there. And I'm like, I could have saved that up and used it on the silicone so I'm getting a little bit better at not buying all these vinyl plus a lot of sellers and artists are making it very easy for me to not spend my money and get a reborn when they're not allowing layaway or anything like that so I'm like well I'll just save my moolah so I have a box here because I thought this was very fitting for this video because I was talking earlier. Okay, let me say this before I get into the topic from earlier. I'm going to wrap up this vinyl versus silicone. Or which one I prefer. Not really a versus. It's not really a comparison. But again, I do prefer the silicone. So let me know in the comments what you prefer. And I prefer the full body silicones. I never had a cuddle baby. And I definitely never had a cuddle baby silicone. But I have had a partial silicone. And I just prefer the full body silicones. So you guys will have to let me know which ones you guys like the most. But yes, going back to the topic in the beginning of the video. About beginner artists charging too much money for their babies. And here's a prime example right here. I've had this baby originally at $250 plus shipping. And I didn't even think that was a lot of money until... A little uh, after this baby was sitting for like six six months to a year, I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess I'm asking for too much. This baby has been sitting for almost three years now, and this baby has been packed for over a year, about a year and six months maybe. And I wasn't gonna open this box because like I had it packed really cute and taped already, but I'm just going to open this box to show you guys the baby in here since most of you guys don't even know the baby that's in here but this was the third baby i painted and the first baby i rooted so i was like i am charging a lot so then i lowered this baby's price to 230 dollars and 215 dollars then 200 dollars then 175 then 150 then 135 and then 100 dollars and this baby is still sitting here so let's see if we can find this baby at home i tried to be i tried to be the bargain lady when it comes to the biracial african american reborn babies because i know they can get very very pricey the only problem is a lot of people don't want boo-boo babies and so when they see a baby for a good price and it's a boo-boo baby they just don't want it they want a high quality baby made by a prototype artist for two hundred dollars and i'm trying to tell people it does not work like that 
So let's look at this baby. I packaged this last year, May. Look how pretty this is. For a budget baby, look at this. I even included a little bit of goodies. It stayed intact though. That is what I am so shocked at. We got some goodies right here. We got some goodies right here. And then we got the baby right here with the card. Look at this. I didn't put a name on the card because obviously I didn't know who the baby was going to. And then the baby was going to no one. <laughs> but I'm so shocked that this... Well, actually I'm not really shocked because when I opened up Claudia's box. And if you guys don't know Claudia, that's the baby I'm giving away. I don't have a lot of entries. I forgot to talk to you guys about the giveaway. I don't have a lot of entries. So whoever is entering the giveaway, they have a very, very good chance at winning. But I opened up Claudia's box and that box was still intact. And I did not open up Sweet Pea's box because Sweet Pea did find a home. So I was like, okay, I won't open up this box. But I was hoping that Sweet Pea would have been intact as well. And oh, look, it's another goodie at the bottom. The purple one. It's a pink, purple, and green package. Look at all those goodies. I didn't even know I packed all of that. Because I lost the footage of me packing all the baby stuff. Alright, let's take a look at this baby that I have for sale at the lowest of two of $100. And it did so. Okay. I just moved seven because he was taking up too much space. So, let's look at this girly and see if she can find her new home to a mom a dad maybe some siblings but i don't think this baby is bad at all however again this was my third time painting so let's take a look let's take a look you guys see that little hand she is on a three-fourth body because she has three-fourth limbs both arms and legs I remember her being a lot heavier, but she's not that heavy. She's weighted good. She's weighted with glass beads, all that good stuff. But she's not as heavy as I as I thought she was or that I falsely remembered. Let me move the ring light over here. Sorry, guys. It's a lot of back and forth with the ring light. I just want to hurry up and do this video. And then that way I can get it posted tomorrow. And then get another video posted Friday so here's her hands she has two open hands this is an old bountiful baby kit before bountiful baby had started making their own kits this baby is by Cindy Musgrove she has nails veining let me quickly show you guys I'm glad she has a diaper on I don't know why but I thought she wasn't gonna have a diaper on but she has this brand new outfit so cute or this brand new sleeper, I should say. And it's unicorns all over it. She's in a size 1 diaper. I think that size 1 fits her pretty good. She was painted with Genesis heat set paint. She has blushing on her knees. So her painting isn't horrible. She has uh, veins and all of that good jazz. So again, I don't think she's painted too, too bad. Especially not for her price. And then that's why I'm always shocked when I see babies that are like barely painted and with no details up for sale. And they're $600, $700 and they sell. I'm like, how? Tell me you guys, tell me your secrets. But I found out their secrets. I won't say why. Or should I? Should I be a little, a little, mm, and, <laughs> and say why? Uh, this is a zero to three month size sleeper she's a very long baby so sometimes you're three months don't fit her and they're like a little short in the sleeves but this is a sleeper so it fits her really really good but i can say you could put just strictly three months or three to six months on her anyways i decided to not put any diapers over the baby's head because i didn't want it to bleed on their vinyl so she does not have a diaper let's take this off so this is her this is scarlet by Cindy Musgrove. She has open eyes. They're brown. Her hair is what I messed up on because this was the first ever baby I rooted. So she doesn't like have any hair at the top. 
Let me see if I can focus you guys. She doesn't have any hair at the top. But y'all can go ahead and root that in or pull her hair out or just leave it how it is. Her hair is very, very soft. It's like this chocolate brown. But this is her. I forgot to do eyebrows on her, but <laughs> I, it's not really noticeable. Well, maybe to you guys it is. But to me, it wasn't really noticeable. So this is her. And she's been with me for almost three years now. Up for sale. Waiting until she finds the right one. And she just never did. So I decided to bring her back out and show you guys her. And if any of you guys are interested, let me know. I know the holidays are coming up. She is budget friendly and kid friendly. You guys know I usually don't recommend the babies to children. However, like I tell everyone, it is your money and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, I do recommend Paradise Galleries or Ashton Drake to the younger kids. But again, like I said, if you want to buy them an actual re reborn, then go ahead. I just suggest you find one that's budget quality and not one that's like so high end or spending a thousand dollars on one for a child so anyways that is her and that was seven getting changed into his sleeper so yeah that is pretty much it for today's video guys i have tons of videos on her starting in 2021 so if you guys want to go check those out you guys can it's at the beginning of the year and I'm going to put her back in her box. But again, if any of you guys are interested in her, let me know. She'll be a perfect Christmas gift, right? Or holiday gift. So, yeah. Anyways, my camera's dying. And this video's already long enough. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys want the comments, including video questions. I already subscribed to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.